Main focus is to come up with a bag. Ain't gonna be no slacking, ain't got time for none of that. Put it in their face, they already mad. Disappear while I'm stacking, then they be like, where you been? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Shantae Shantae, and I am back with another video. If you're new here, what's up with it? Please be sure to hit that subscription button, followed by the notification bell, so you are updated when I post new videos weekly. If you've been here, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram. Also, I really appreciate it if you guys follow me on Instagram and show me some love over there also. You can check down right here as well as the description box for all social media, website, and details that you need from me. So as you guys can tell by the title, this video is about how I achieved these spiral curls on my short hair. No longer do I have big hair, but by the end of the year, I sure enough will. So if you guys are interested to see how I achieve these spiral curls on my short hair, just keep on watching. Okay, so as you guys can see here, I am in the shower and I decided to use my All Natural Kinks oil. I just put it in the spray bottle that I came with and I just spread it all over my scalp to do a good, a nice pre-poo and just get all that, like I had edge control around my edges and just using that oil to just break up any kind of product that's already on my hair and to just lift any oils, dirt, anything that could be on my hair. Make sure that I am getting the back of my hair so you'll see me here turn around and give you some shots of that. Just making sure I'm really getting all of my hair because you want to make sure the entire your entire head is getting covered with this oil and you're massaging your entire scalp. But I will wash this out inverted with warm water. Warm water until I get to the part where I'm about to start styling my hair. You keep, I keep warm water to keep the cuticles open. I'm gonna go in with this Wash and Scrub Detox Probiotic by Curlsmith. It's one of three different, four actually, four different cleansers that I like to use. And the first time I use my first cleanser, it is always focusing on the scalp. This one in particular because it is that scrub, love it for my scalp. If I'm not using this one, I like to swap it out for the Malibu Undo Goo. But this is what we use for today's wash and go. You have alternatives. You can do the Malibu Undo Goo. A clean beauty brand would be the Inner Sense. And another one is the Bread, which they have a cleansing shampoo also. The first round of cleansing, like I mentioned, is for my scalp. So I will try to make sure I'm massaging and paying really good attention to my scalp hair shorter it will get all over my hair but my focus is not the ends of my hair it is the my scalp because I want to make sure I'm one stimulating it and also just getting again any of that buildup that could be on my hair so I will again wash this out inverted with warm water I'll go in with my second cleanser and that is from inner sense and this is their color awakening hair bath that I'm using and this here, I can focus it on my scalp and the ends of my hair. If you have longer hair, you can bring it down. I really love that this also is a clean beauty brand. Very gentle and nourishing on the hair, so you don't have to worry about that stripped, squeaky clean feeling. You can massage it into your hair and really, like at this point now, I want to be able to finger detangle my hair, but I'm not using the shampoo to finger detangle, but I want to be able to put my fingers through my hair at this point. I never have an issue with detangling, but if you do, I wouldn't really recommend it at this step until you get your conditioner in. For me, this is never an issue, so at this point, I would know if a shampoo is good or not if I can put my fingers through my hair. I just use my fingers, but if you had the massaging shampoo brush, that would really be really good for stimulating your hair, and even at this point, adding some essential oils to just open up that your scalp. This out inverted with warm water as well and then this is when we start getting into the fun parts where we start adding in our conditioner. We're gonna go in with the Inner Sense Hydro Cream Conditioner and I really love that I came across this Inner Sense. I wanted to try them for years and I'm so excited that I actually got the chance to do that. I first found out about them when I went to my stylist when I after I did my little big job she used those products on my hair as well as a couple other products that I will be using in today's wash and go. So here is where I just saturate my hair. It's kind of detangling, but again, I don't have any tangles. So I'm just putting my fingers through my hair, making sure it's completely saturated with this conditioner. Then I will go in and do my first round of cleansing for my body and then come back and finish up the rest of my stylers with this. But again, this is really just making sure my hair is saturated with this conditioner that it's able to sit in there and you know, my hair just enjoys so then I will wash that all out of my hair 
and this brand usually I know I usually leave brands in my hair but this brand particularly says to wash it all out so I did wash it all out and then follow up with my Adwa Beauty leave-in conditioner. So for the leave-in conditioner, I will put this again all over my hair. Now this is a lot of conditioners that I have going on my hair, but I use the leave-in conditioners. I consider it more of like my styling product because I do want a moisturizer that is in my hair that will sit under the Uncle Funkies and the gel. So that way my hair does have that added, added nourishment. Here as you can see, I am putting it all through my hair. Now my hair is really, really fine. It looks huge once my hair is big and curly, but I have really fine hair strands, so making sure that I am sectioning it off is really important so that the hairs don't all clump together. The next thing I'll go on is with the Uncle Funkies Curl Stimulator, and you're gonna see me keep looking up because the light in my shower just randomly went out. But this is my first, technically my first styling product, doing the first process and really raking it through my hair, trying to section it off and build that, build those curls out so now when I add the next products, it's really easy. So I'll go through each section of my hair and finger detangle it and make sure I'm forming it, kind of like what your gentleman brush would do, but just using my hands for this. I'm gonna go in with my Wetline Extreme finally as my gel. As you can already see that the curls are a lot juicier in this image than when I was when I was washing it. They're more defined and put together. So now I'll just go in with this gel out, or any gel, you're going with your gel now and apply it in the shower. And don't be afraid to use water to incorporate with this gel. As, you, as I put it through my hair, I will put some more water on there to keep the hair super saturated. I'll continue to keep putting water in as I pull it together. And by the time I get out, my hair is drenched, but it's defined and easy and ready for me to just go right under the hood and dry. So I'll give my hair a good shake in the shower a couple times to try to loosen up some of that water. And then after that, it is right under the hooded dryer, I will go. So here you just see me sitting in under the hooded dryer, getting my life together. Now there are some times where some of the curls at the ends, they don't form the way I want to. So as I'm under the dryer, I'll just spiral them up and then they'll perform perfectly the way I want them to. So that is what I do. And then after that, I will sit under the dryer for 45 minutes. My hair does take some time to dry and it is on high. I do not have a problem with using this on high. For the last, after I do finish it off, I will go back and put the, put it on for a good five to 10 minutes and just leave it on low so that way the cold air will close my cuticles for sure and lock in that moisture. So these are my finished results here with this wash and go. My curly hair is back like it never left. You can see like it's just really curling. The front is curling really well. For the front to be curling as well is exciting because usually your curls perform better in the back because of the way you wash your hair, but I have been inverting my hair, so I'm excited about that. Leave a comment below on some products that you use, especially Clean Beauty and Black-owned brands that you use on your hair. I would love to try them out, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye!